Hi friends, how are you? Um, so, I wanted to start today's video with a picture of Coco. Look at how cute she looks. This was her next to me this morning while I was um, on a Zoom meeting with the other teachers and our principal. And I just wanted to show you guys her because she looked so, so cute. Anyways, let's go ahead and start. We are going to be working with word problems today. These are going to be addition word problems. So what you will need um, to do these are your, a whiteboard and a dry erase marker or a regular sheet of paper and a pencil. So pause the video until you have your tools and push play when you are ready. Let's do the first one together and then I'll give you guys time to do the other one. So the first one, just kind of watch. So here we go. So the directions are solve using strategies learned. Strategies that we've learned this school year are counting on, drawing a picture, making 10 and counting on from 10, We've learned doubles, doubles plus one. So if those apply and those are helpful, please use them. All right, let's see what this says. It says, Jake sees 12 blue bugs. Mark finds four white bugs. How many are there all together? All together is the key word. That tells you that we need to add all of the bugs up. So you should have in your head 12 plus four. Because Jake saw 12, Mark saw 4. So 12 plus 4 equals, and then you do whatever strategy you like. I personally like counting on with from the bigger number. So I have 12 in my head, and I'm going to count 4 more. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's how I usually like to do it. Do you have to do it like me? No. If you think of another strategy that's easier for you, Go for it, friends. I want you to do whatever is whatever helps you find the answer the fastest. That's what's going to help you be more successful. So the next one I want you guys to try. So direction solve using strategies learned. Kim buys 10 cookies. Her mom also buys 10 cookies. How many do they have in total? So again, we are adding, I want to know how many cookies there are in total. If Kim's, if Kim bought 10 and her mom bought 10, we're going to do 10 plus 10. Oh, I hope your brains are thinking what I'm thinking, which is doubles. So 10 plus 10 is, I'll give you guys a second to write it. Three, two, one, Coco. Shh. Please do not mind Coco barking. She heard my phone go off and now she thinks she's getting a phone call. So 10 plus 10 is 20. The strategy that helped me is doubles. All right, let's do this one. Dan finds six white socks. He also has seven gray socks. How many socks does Dan find? So Dan found six white and he has seven gray. So how many does he have in total? We should be thinking six plus seven. Okay, six plus seven is an interesting one. What strategy can you use for that? I will give you a clue. We just did doubles. If you recall, there's another strategy that's similar. It's called doubles plus one. Six plus six, I know in my head because we practiced that in class, that six plus six is 12. But six plus seven is only one more. Seven is only one more than six. So this is a double plus one. So if I know six plus six is 12, then six plus seven, which is one more, is going to be... 6 plus 6, which is 12, plus one more is 13. Okay, let's try this one. Miss Anderson has 19 students. She gets one new student. How many students are in her class? So we want to know the total amount all together. So 19 plus 1, this one's easy because all you have to do, my friends, is count on. The bigger number is in your head, and you just count on. So 19, hmm. I'll give you a few seconds to write it. The answer is 20. Let's try this one. 
There are 16 chicks in the farm. Four eggs hatched today. How many chicks are there in the farm now? How cute. Oh my gosh, I want to live in a, sometimes I think about living in a farm. I think that would be so fun, but I don't know. Okay, anyways, enough of me babbling. So there are 16 chicks, four, more, four eggs hatched. We know chicks hatch from eggs. So 16 plus four is, go ahead and write it down and I'll give you a few seconds to find the answer. I will suggest counting on, start with 16, count four more. And the answer is 20. All right, another one. Mrs. Rodriguez, that is me, had eight stuffed animals in her class. Oh, friends, I remember when it was time for Reed to sell, we would get our stuffy or our pillow and we would read. Oh, those were the good days, friends. But you know what? Even though those things are not happening right now, you can always cherish Cherish those memories in your heart and carry them with you forever. So don't be sad. I know some a lot of parents have been telling you guys that you guys have been sad and missing school and missing regular life how it used to be. But just be patient, friends. The safest thing we could do right now is stay home and be safe and just love on our families. And before you know it, life will resume. Anyways, let's start over because Mrs. Rodriguez is now... Again, talking too much. So it says, Mrs. Rodriguez had eight stuffed animals in her class. She buys three more at the store. How many stuffed animals does she have? So we're going to do eight plus three. I would suggest counting on. Start with eight, add three. And the answer is 11. All right. It says, I learned 10 new addition strategies in kindergarten. In first grade, I learned seven more. How many strategies do I now know? So we have 10 plus seven. Ooh, this one's an, another strategy. This one's called, um, so making a group from 10 and counting on. So this one's pretty easy because you just start at 10 and count seven more. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and the answer is 17. All right, boys and girls, that was the last one. I will be also uploading a read aloud. That's uploading right now. It's just taking a long time to process, but as soon as it's done, I will upload that for you. Please have your parents check Class Dojo daily so that you guys can have links to the videos and so that you guys can also... Um, Check out anything else that I upload on there. I know today I uploaded the retail uh, worksheet that we usually did on Fridays. The one that's uh, about t retelling the story um, from the beginning, middle, and end. So please send pictures of those. I will, I will add them to your learning packets next week so that you guys can have those. But I didn't this week, so just make them up on, like, on a piece of paper. Anyways, boys and girls, love you, miss you, have a great Friday, and I will talk to you later in another video. Bye!